Very nice hole. Super long run dumping into a nice pool with good structure. You got this little guy that they can tie off on. He can be a headache sometimes. Put the mud shelf. Ooh, there's some waves. What just made those waves? Okay, well I missed that. Hmm. I'm thinking the big ones are more concentrated today with the low level of water and they don't have as much playroom and this is going to play into my favor I'm going to go out and I got a spinner and some crawlers I forgot my bag at home it's been a while since I came out so it just wasn't in my truck so here we go I'm lucky I have the darn camera so uh, it's a beautiful day right at the very end of July 2018 and of course we're on the little cannon hoping we're going to see something of uh, Big old size of proportion. Well, let's check this out. We're gonna start right here. That was nothing but a big old chub. That's what the big ones eat too, and a big old bait fish like that. Really good stuff for them to chew on. It's off right there. He was a brownie. And I thought there might be a bigger one under there. I know there's a bunch hiding down in there. That's a good little spot. Let's work our way up now. Here we go. The first fish. I've seen a few. Ooh. Rainbow, get out of there. What oh, does he think he's going to get away? Get out of there too. Oh my gosh. I'm going to turn back over to a spinner. The worm just isn't doing the best. And I think the fish do like the spinner today. So I'm going to let this guy go. He seems to have had it down in there. At any rate, I'm going to change back over to spinner. Nice little rainbow. Beautiful, beautiful guy. Hang on. Get out of there, I'm telling you. I have no problem letting them go. These fish survive somehow. I know they will. If I stop flopping them around, yeah, they will survive. Okay, next hole. Seen him hit it way down in there. And I'm glad he came back. I got to see him very good. There might be something in the front of this little run. You see him go and bump it, then he came back and hit it real good. Look at the dark color. He's way down back in them branches. Pretty looking guy. Good looking guy. That was fun watching him come out. There could be another one in there, so I'm gonna keep him over here. He's hooked very nicely in the lip, so we'll get him off.
Okay, there I go. So, so. Oh, he'll find his way out. I am going to check this out again. You watch, he'll zoom back out in front of us in just one moment. He came out right in the front. That was cool. Oh, yeah. I've seen a few other fish showing themselves. Nothing really huge, but still, I've been seeing a few fish. He's a nice little guy. About 11 to 12. All right, brown number three. I had a real little guy on that I actually caught on shoved in shore. And I've seen some very nice fish. It's just that they're kind of hesitant today. They're not uh, committing themselves terribly uh, one after another cast. They just show themselves and they kind of disappear right away. So I'm seeing them, but just not producing. And I could take my time and uh, do the bait thing, but Without my stuff, I'm real light today. I'm going to be doing some speedy stuff. I'm not going to take my time on any one hole. I'm going to be doing some running. I hear things crashing around me in the woods. Just keep paying attention, see what it is. I'll get him. That's the third one, that uh, small fish trout. That's a small one. Here we go. Little guy. It's nice to see the little guys. Next generation. Back here behind us, that log the sand right there. It looks interesting. I always try things like this. A little run had a nice fish waiting in it. Seen a couple of little guys and this guy hit it right at the top. Right at the top.
good 14 and a half, 14 and three quarter. He's going to be a big beauty someday. He's got some voraciousness, some ambushing in his blood. Looking good. He's happy he's back. Way up there at the top, that top little pocket up there. 